viral videos are just about everywhere from every place. Videos of cliff jumping, which left more than two dozen people dead last year. Concussion or knocked themselves out and then drowned. It's a stunt so terrifying, they're calling it death diving. It started in Norway, but now Americans are getting in on it. All to get views on TikTok. The higher the jump, the more the clicks. Not sure how I feel about that. They didn't really, uh, yeah, they didn't do a good job of accurately portraying death diving at all. People all around the world watch American football, UFC, boxing, a lot of impact sports, the list goes on. You don't go play football without a football helmet. You don't go into a boxing ring without some prior experience. And the same way with death diving, it's just like any other sport. You gotta know what you're doing, you gotta be prepared, you gotta take it slow. But most importantly, you gotta be tough. It's a big deal to me to be going to Puerto Rico. Uh, I could have made the safe play and just gone somewhere where we know there's established places that are good for jumping. All around the US, we've got places in Tennessee, we've got places in California, we've got shoot places in Texas where I'm from. Basically everywhere that there's a cliff jumping community, there's a local spot. And I've always wanted to go jump at spots that I can claim I put people onto. Um, I would love to make Puerto Rico a destination for cliff jumpers in the future. Uh, so I went ahead and decided to take the risk with my friends and get out there and uh, just have some fun. Here, baby. Yes. Spot one. Not Cueva okay. del Indio. At the end of this week, you go to the top of the rock to the left. Okay. Top of the rock to the left. You see a big hole. Yeah, they're dead checking the water. And it's honestly just so sketch. Like the water's just ripping around right now. I don't even know, honestly. Like the spot is the sickest spot I've ever been to, but water in the ocean is just terrifying. I mean, holy crap, look at that wave, look at that wave. Oh my God. Ideally, we're looking for a spot that has at least 5 to 10 feet of runway. Uh, we'd like the spot to be at least 30 feet tall. The water needs to be at least 8 to 10 feet deep for death dives, deeper if you're going feet first. Um, and it needs to be a place that you can fairly easily get out of the water and get back to the cliff face. I tell you what, after spending many a year in the ocean myself, you think it looks like the water's only moving a little bit in the direction the waves are going, but not really. You get out there past the point and it's just seven eight mile an hour current and you are gone you are just gone you cannot outswim that i don't know what all the fuss is about i say it was jump that's what i've been waiting for for hours we will though we will yeah i showed you bad like she care oh i told her look in the mirror yeah don't need a license to care nah i do not let them sit near nah she got a heart that's so pure yeah better hope nothing to occur three yeah better hope nothing to occur better hope nothing to occur what is death diving it's one of the newer extreme sports that's gaining traction online um, it showed up around 2012 for the first time it's a sport where you're basically playing chicken with the water. You run off the edge of a cliff. You want to strike a pose in the air and look very confident. Uh, a lot of the sport is based off of what we call steez or personal style. When you hit the water, you obviously don't want to just belly flop. That's not what we're doing. You want to protect your body. So at the last second, you fold in half and you imagine your body kind of forming what we like to call the shrimp position. So you basically try and punch the water with your hands, you try and kick the water with your feet as you're entering the water. And the later you close, the better. Better hope nothing occur. Better hope nothing occur. Cannonballs off of the boat. You may crush Monday a joke. 
Misfit on all of my clothes Rolls in my mouth when I dance At times we talk with our hands My mom is on Instagram I don't need any more friends You get my email address I throw it right in the spam I hope I don't see you again All right, what's up? Gavin Nelson from uh, Orange County, California. I like to snowboard, all board sports, snowboard, wakeboard, skate, everything. And as of lately, I've been throwing dogs. Johnny threw out the offer of coming out to Puerto Rico, and I knew it was something I couldn't pass. My name is Kellen Stevens. P-H-E-N-S, everybody says Stephens, that's not how it's pronounced, but I've always been into flips and snowboarding. And then cliff jumping in Hawaii. I don't really know how I got into the dogs and thing, really. Saw it on the internet and was like, let's do it. I'm Matt Whitson. I'm from Atlanta. Uh, I've been jumping off stuff for 10, 15 years or something. My name is Jake Horton. I'm from Tustin, California. My name is Ospig. My name is Ben Havener. Michael Lewis, AKA Mike Does Flips. Wilson Huddleston. Wilson yeah. Whitfield Huddleston. What's up everybody? I'm John Nyberg. Nobody calls me that. I'm Johnny Goes Hard. I was chasing my glory, then fell asleep. Woke me up and told me to go feed the sheep. Send me deep in the streets just to bring them peace. Here we be with them blickies be busting. Where they end your life with no discussion. But as soon as they see the light rushing, they know that the Lord walking with us, no bluffing. People say that I'm fake, I'm like, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Been death diving for about three years. I am the first US national championship. I am the third place bronze gold medalist in the Dodds World Championships. Death dived all over the world. Um, I know a lot about the sport. I'm very passionate about the sport and I'm excited to take you guys along on this adventure in Puerto Rico. Day two, we're going to a waterfall. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. We did our little ocean side adventure. Now we're gonna go deep into the jungle to Cascada Golzandia. Golanz Cascada Golzandia is what I'm gonna stick with. Sorry if I just offended all the locals that live around there. Stay two. I'm malnourished. We don't have any water. Little hope, if any. <laughs> and we're gonna get out to our little fun spot. It's just gonna be a bunch of homies all gathered up, cuddling if you if we want to. I don't know if that was the original plan, but um, you jump in cliffs and whatnot. Looks like a little tiny jump spot, but the scenery here is beautiful. I gotta cool off a little bit anyways, you know, we're sweating a little bit, it's kinda hot in here. Your little island ting. You heard. And so when I started death diving, there was nothing in English about it. There were a couple of tutorials on YouTube, but they were all in Norwegian. Um, I was terrified to do my first death dive, but that's kind of why we're coming out here to shoot this video. Hopefully if you're watching this right now, you're starting to understand like, oh, death diving isn't just a belly flop competition. They're actually protecting their bodies. Freestyle trick off the worst takeoff into the Dude, smallest it's literally, The takeoff's like this, first of all, so you gotta like jump just straight out. So even though some of the psychopaths just decided to jump off the sheer cliff face, insane. But the rest of us are just sessioning this little cliff. Um, I think it's a perfect moment to demonstrate the three basic types of death diving. 
This is a shrimp, kind of looks like a shrimp when you fold in half. This is how most people land when they death dive. And this is Ospjorg, three-time world champion. We have Mike does flips over there demonstrating the crusher. That's the second most common type of landing. You land with your uh, forearms and your shins together. Next up we have Jake with the no-hander. Don't do that above 35 feet, kids, because you can get concussed. But that's the gnarliest type of death diving landing. You just put your head down to your knees and just hit the water like that. Those are the three basic ways to death dive. And if you're ever trying to learn, this is a pretty good height cliff to do it from. It doesn't always have to be big for it to be fun. Are we all around? This is our uh, nightly routine. Not only do we have impossible energy, we also have impossible sleep. Got the wake up in the morning and go to sleep oh. at night. I don't personally like to drink it. I'm, here, let me see that real quick. I'm more of a, I'm more of a direct contact type of guy. You just, uh, right on. You just put a little bit kind of in there, and then you just. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Sleepy. That killed me. Kelly, you know what you should do? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Today's the day for him. I'm rested, ready to go, ready to rip. It's been 20 minutes, so let's start bringing back down to the van and SUV. Yeah. We're going to be driving about an hour and a half south today. It's a place called Cabo Rojo. Probably a mile of hikeable cliffs that I want us all to check out. One of the biggest obstacles to overcome when cliff jumping, especially somewhere that you've never been before, is the spots look good on Google Maps, the spots look good in photos, then you get there and there's about a hundred things that can go wrong. The ocean swells are too strong, uh, the tide isn't where it was in the picture. So right now we have about a two mile radius, this point, and we're trying to find somewhere on the coast that's high enough to be a very good jump, safe enough to land in, and easy enough to get out of. It's a harder combo than you might think. And again, half the fun is uh, in finding these spots, so we're hoping today is gonna be good. I know the gang is itching for some action. Matt said he would dance guys with it, because he wants to do it. And How's it looking, Franco? Well, I don't know how to get back If up, uh, uh, you're not left or right challenged, and you know how to go straight, no, it looks pretty good. So same revolving question we've had with every clip. Is it deep enough? Major issue, uh, water depth. The ocean, as some of y'all may know, can be pretty fickle. You got a lot of variables that go into play. So right now we're trying to just uh, trying to trying to solve the uh, the equation of the ocean. Shoot, we found some big rocks. I don't know if it's jumpable. I haven't heard a clear yes or no yet. Big rocks, these look kind of small. Well, it's, it's bigger than you, right? Pretty big rock. We're talking relative to rock to Aaron, <laughs> the cameraman size, you know? You know, if we could jump off anything, I think we'll be happy for the day. A gainer? No way. Going. Gainer would be Going to that boat. That'd be pretty chill. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Not a good step. Yeah! Yes, sir. 
Didn't expect that one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm bummed because so far the cliffs don't look that accessible. The ocean's just more chill though. But the ocean is chill and this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen with my own eyes. I, like I knew it was gonna be pretty, but this is like stunning. I feel like I'm on the edge of the world right now. Just <laughs> stand like at the edge. Okay. Yeah, and then like put your left foot back. Ready? Oh. That was fucking close. Oh, that was my good. Your shoulder was on the rock. Yeah. I hit the front foot dodge. I'm gonna come right here. What do you do? So, out of all the places that we were looking for spots, the one place I never thought anyone would jump turns out to be jumpable, but only by one of our guys, Gavin. Gavin is kind of a specialty death diver. Uh, he's really good at doing sketchy jumps into pretty shallow water. There's definitely times when if you're an accomplished death diver and you're aware of how deep the water is, you know how tight to close or how loosely to close in order to make sure that you're not gonna hit the bottom. I wasn't gonna walk this whole coastline and not find at least one spot to jump. So, might have been six feet deep, but you don't have to go too deep when you're doing dots. made sure to really, instead of pouncing into the water and punching in and folding in, he kind of just makes sure and protects his head still, but he kind of hits the water letting the, the, his shoulders and his chest take a lot of the impact. And if you're willing to take a little bit more pain, a lot more spots become open to you because you don't go more than three or four feet deep into the water. Obviously not everyone that came on this trip is capable of doing what he was doing, and I definitely don't think that's the type of jump that's for beginners, but it is cool to see someone that's a high level athlete like Gavin really killing it. Cabo Rojo did not end up being the shrine to death diving that I thought it was going to be. We've kind of run out of options. I want to throw the team a bone. They've been troopers this whole time, searching and exploring with me. But obviously when you go on a scouting trip, you're still expecting to have some good jumps. So we got a big decision to make tonight about where we're going to go. Do we explore another spot and risk having no good sessions on an entire trip? Or do we go back to the day one spot where we know we can get some good jumps in? The other spot is not guaranteed. We do not know if we can go to this other spot. It didn't look like it was jumpable in most of it. I don't want to go there. What do you want to do? That I want to go. I want to go straight back to the first spot. If we go back to the day one, we know for sure that we would not be able to hit any cliff higher than 50 feet. I'm okay with set like session something that's 50 feet. Set, right? Like that's yeah. fun. That's that to fun me, set. to me, like 50 feet for me is like where like the real death divers can sesh at. And a sesh is like where we all throw like three, four tricks down. We're there for like the day we just decide like, hey, you know what? Like, I don't get to throw the slowest 360 of all time. Boo hoo, I'm gonna try and do a double. I'm gonna try and do a triple. I'm gonna do something that's gnarly in a different way. Who's, who's up to go back to the first spot? This was the Hectic morning. Good morning. Let's go. We managed to spend the entire morning doing nothing and then accomplishing everything in 15 minutes. Good job, guys. Today I'm feeling hot, dude. We're going back to the original spot that we started at. We know there's a 50 foot jump. It's pretty sweet. We know there's a 20 meter that might go. All I do know is this is the last chance to get some sick clips. So that's what I'll be doing. Yeah. Off to Matt to tell you about today's weather. We're already going though. By the time we get there, they're gonna be gone and done with their sandwiches. So by just and that's the weather report.
I'm confused. I don't even know what's going on. People are talking about sandwiches. People are talking about beef sticks. Well, people, nobody's talking about beef sticks. I'm thinking about beef sticks. We still need to get water. I don't even know where we're really going today. It's freaky, man. So I've been driving in fucking circles for the past 30 minutes. I'm fucking starving. And I want a sandwich. I want to jump and eat some food and do some tricks. It's taking way too long to get to that point. I've had to pee the last 30 miles and it's starting to get pretty bad. It's 12.35 right now. We're not gonna get to the cliffs by at least three, which is so stupid. I'm so tired. <coughs> Here we go. Here with my friend. Friends. Woo! Now, don't stop believing for a journey. Mm. One, two, three, four. Avoid the sets, wait for it to be calm. Just be smart, you don't wanna tire yourself out. If you jump right before a set starts, then you have to wait for all those waves to push you and push you and push you, and then slowly pull you out the ocean as well. And there's a rip current advisory right now, so we definitely wanna be a little bit smarter with how we are in the water. Well, we're gonna go rip this one. Matt, down there, just depth checked it, and we yelled down to him, does it go? And he says, yeah, I'll tell you when I get up there. So, what we call that is gatekeeping the depth check. So, we have to wait for Matt so he can do it first. <laughs> so it's at 63 feet. The depth is like, with a wave, it's 15 feet easy to sand in the pocket. And then without a wave, it's like maybe 10 feet. So you're still probably okay if you land in the pocket good. So I think we're gonna do some, some jumps. What do you think, Jake? Uh, we're, we're doing some Third jumps. <laughs> Chase it. Yeah. Like you're That's chasing fire. That's that shit blows the water up and you're like, yeah. yeah. They did that on Triple X. They've done that. And Diesel, remember, he drives off the bridge, it's like 800 feet. He jumps out of the car, then he's falling in the water, and then, like, before he hits the water, he pulls out his gun and he's all, doo, 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 yeah, doo, he's doo, shooting doo, the water, doo, and then yeah, he goes yeah, in. Yeah. That would never work. Never. Work. Well, my stomach got fricked up from the Chick-fil-A. Oh so I thought right when I hit the water that I was just gonna throw up like the past three deluxe chicken sandwiches. But I didn't, so that's a good day for me. Oh, All right. Ready? ready? Yeah. Send it! Alright, so unity is a five letter word. You and I, T-Y. You know another five letter word that means so slow. It was just slow. I knew going into this trip exactly what it was going to be. It was a high risk and uncertain reward type of trip. 
There weren't as many jumpable spots as I was hoping, but we also were only in Puerto Rico for five, six days tops. We didn't have time to explore the whole island, and I definitely want to return it sometime. It is cool to see the community growing, and I'm glad that we were able to bring in some newcomers as well as some OGs and let everyone get to experience the sport from top to bottom, from beginner to expert. And to see everyone smiling, laughing, enjoying themselves as we're exploring cliffs, as we're cutting through the jungle, as we're climbing trees, it's just been a great experience overall. Last end of the trip here. Um, hopefully, I land it. God damn! Dang it. I, I literally knew that was gonna happen. What? Because I know Gav, and he's like, he'll do it the first time, like perfectly, and then he's like, I didn't like it, I'll do it better. And then he, that's when he slams. Every time. Man. It felt good to do it again, but that was shit. I just had this feeling you were gonna not land it. I landed it. You definitely did not land it.